Seeing life through the eyes of Vincent van Gogh, more than 200 of his artworks have been animated and projected, so you feel like you've stepped into his universe. You could see it all it was, as it was going round. It was very clever. I'll say that was quite mesmerising in there. Never seen nothing like it. The combination of um, pictures and music was quite beautiful. To feel like you're in, in it, you're in the painting, and the painting is moving in front of you it is amazing. The multimedia installation tells the story of the misunderstood genius. Considered a madman and a failure, he became famous after he killed himself. But Van Gogh, I think, is, um, is particularly interesting because of his colours. Uh, he's also a bit of a rock star, so everybody knows him. You know, he's had a very, uh, very exciting life. What we're trying to do is not, uh, not have an opinion about his art, but have more of a of a digital art interpretation of what the original paintings were. And it's really, without reinterpreting his art, maybe just show a little bit about what the context may have been. I guess this is the closest I'll ever be to being in a Van Gogh painting. Starry Nights Over the Rhone was one of the few artworks of his that was exhibited during his lifetime. What would life be if we didn't have the courage to have a go at anything, no matter what? This is Van Gogh's bedroom recreated, and this is where the exhibition's virtual reality journey begins and ends. The headsets transport you to a day in the life of Vincent and the inspiration behind his paintings. The VR is incredible. I did cry, <laughs> I did, and I'm about to right now. Because it was so moving. Absolutely. Brilliant. Van Gogh, the immersive experience, runs at York St. Mary's until the new year. Shurana Saga, BBC Look North. <laughs>